A community with already frayed nerves gets a huge scare. I got a guy with a gun out front. Guy with a gun out front of my building right now. Police rush to respond to that frantic call coming from the Jewish Federation in Oakland County. Well, police now say that man was carrying a pellet gun and suffering from a mental health crisis. Happened this afternoon at the Jewish Federation of Detroit building on Telegraph in Bloomfield Township. Mara McDonald is live at the Bloomfield Township Police Department. A uh, police and the feds came to quickly make one thing clear, and we can't say this enough, Mara, that they don't believe this actually had anything to do with anti-Semitism. Devin, that's exactly right. You know, this happened a little after 11 o'clock this morning. The police and the feds coming out this afternoon to brief everybody aware that what happened here, yes, it was a scare, but they want to make it clear they don't believe it's anti-Semitism. Let me show you. It was tense this morning outside the Jewish Federation building. A man with what looked like a revolver, but turned out to be a pellet gun, was trying to get into the building. He's just standing out front of my building. He's got his phone. He's got the gun in his right hand. He's putting it, he's putting it in his jacket. He's coming up to the um, FedEx guy. He's trying to knock on the FedEx guy's door. Okay. Do not let that guy open. Don't open the door. Don't open the door. Back away from the door. Back away from the door. The callers had every right to be in fear of what could take place uh, at that Federation building today. The gun, the chief says, looked like the real thing and not a pellet gun. Law enforcement from multiple agencies swooped in immediately and took him into custody. Now, the chief is adamant this was a mental health issue, not an anti-Semitism issue. I will tell you right now, we, we are confident it, it was not an anti-Semitic incident. Um, we are confident that the individual we have in custody has mental health concerns. Uh, however, this investigation is still very early and we will present all of our findings to the prosecutor's office when we can. The Jewish Federation has its own security and lockdown protocol, which it activated when this happened. On behalf of the Federation of, De of Detroit, I want to express my tremendous gratitude to the chief, to the Bloomfield Township Police Department, and for their swift response today. We feel very fortunate for the strong relationships we hold with them, as well as with our many law enforcement partners, as you can see behind us. Back here live, the police chief saying at this point they are still in, investiga in investigation mode. They're going to turn over what they have to the prosecutor's office. Until charges are filed in this case, they're not going to be releasing anybody's identity. We're live in Bloomfield Township tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Yeah. Local 4. All right, Mara.